Purdue is breaking ground on the construction of their airport terminal named after Amelia Earhart. Purdue and local officials also flew on the first commercial flight out of Purdue Airport in 20 years. News 18's Vinnie Mortarano has more. Purdue University is breaking ground on the new Amelia Earhart Terminal set to be built right where I'm standing. They'll also be setting off their first Southern Airways flight with multiple Purdue officials on board. Projected 10,000 square foot terminal will serve charters and other planes that fly into the airport. Vice President of Administrative Operations Rob Winecoop says construction will begin in a month and is set to be ready to go by the fall of 2025. And it will allow us to, to be able to grow uh, and we'll be able to handle you know, narrow body, uh, larger airplanes. He says growth will lead to more partnerships with airports and airlines, but nothing specifically is in the works. As we continue to prove that air service is viable here, uh, we'll just have more and more evidence to talk to other airlines and uh, see what kind of opportunities come our way. In celebration of breaking ground and commercial flights beginning soon, Purdue President Meng Cheng, Tippecanoe County Commissioner Tom Murtaugh, and seven others were invited to take the first commercial flight out of the airport in 20 years. CEO of Southern Airways Stan Little says it's been great working with the university bringing this airline to the Purdue airport. We're going to be able to employ pilots who went to school here and learned to fly here and station agents who go to school here and want to someday fly here. The people that are in the, the undergrad and graduate programs for airline and airport management, those are the airline leaders of tomorrow. So someday the CEO of Southern Airways may be somebody who is today a student at Purdue. With commercial flights set to take off Wednesday, Purdue President Meng Cheng opens the airport to the community to fly. This used to be America's first university operated airport, 1930, used to be where men's basketball teams were return home to heroes welcome. And now you can be part of that too. Public flights out of the Purdue airport begin May 15th. Reporting at Purdue University, Vinnie Martirano, News 18.